What's up, y'all? We're gonna go through how I cook in my 2015 Toyota Prius. If you've seen my build videos, you know my, kind of my setup here, but I'm gonna go through like what food I store, how I go through that food, how I store it, how I cook it, how I prepare it. So we're gonna go th through all of that. It is currently, oh, that doesn't show the time, uh, 8.22. That's a little bit late for me just because I'm prepping this video. Um, but usually I eat breakfast the same time every day. I go to the grocery store, get my food for the day, and then in the parking lot of the grocery store, I will eat breakfast. So what I buy every day, um, and just quick shout out ooh, to these, uh, I don't ever shop at Whole Foods really because it's very expensive, but uh, they have these like reusable bags that scrunch up really nice into like one of these small little bags and they're like super, super, super convenient as I use this every day for grocery shopping. Very nice. Um, anyways, at the grocery store every single day, I buy one thing of tofu and one fresh vegetable or fruit um, that I don't eat regularly. So it's just, those are my staples. And then everything else is like my regular stock. So that's what I buy. And then whatever I need to restock, whatever I need. So usually I'm only spending $4, 450 per day on that. And then occasionally I'm gonna have to buy like more brown rice, more fruit, more canned beans. Um, basically I'll should go through my entire like normal supply of food. So these are the dailies. Everything else is shelf stable, does not need to be refrigerated. I do have a refrigerator down here, but I turn this off at night because the vibrations sort of wake me up a bit. Um, so anything that needs to be refrigerated, I buy and use that day. So back here, I have these freeze dried um, Augustin Farm cans. I usually have two or three of these. Um, and these are really great. They're freeze dried, so you don't have to refrigerate them. They're super nice. Um, it's just dried stuff like that. Um, they actually taste pretty good. And obviously you have to like kind of mix them with water, but you can just eat them straight. Like um, these peas are also the Augustin freeze dried. I put this one in a Ziploc. Um, but the peas actually taste super good. So <laughs> um, I kind of just snack on those. But anyways, these are really, really good. The freeze dried stuff for just adding to your meals. And it's like, it's super convenient. You can add as much as you want. You always have it at hand. You don't have to refrigerate it. It is a little bit bulk uh, pricey if you buy it in bulk. Well, you have to buy it in bulk. Um, but once you factor out for like how much you're paying per serving, it's just slightly more expensive than like fresh, I think. Um, or maybe not even, it kind of depends. Um, so those are huge, those are huge. Um, Walmart started selling those. Um, so I definitely recommend those if you are in a place to afford that. So um, back here is my dry storage or my pantry. I guess this is all dry storage, but this is my, kind of my, like my actual pantry is what I call it. Um, so these peas, um, brown rice. I usually have oatmeal, but I'm out of oatmeal right now. I have flax seeds, peanut butter, Ziploc bags, you know, miscellaneous stuff back there. So this is kind of like not just food, but it's one of the food places. Um, and then I have all my cooking stuff here. So vinegar for cleaning and then everything else is for like spices and oil and soy sauce. Um, and like my measuring cups and stuff like that. This is my little trash can here. Um, and then, so this is just a cushion on top of the fridge here. This is our fridge. Um, actually super little nifty. It's a very small fridge. It fits right here. Um, I used to have a bigger fridge that I stored back there, but I upgraded to this one because it saves me a lot of room and I don't really need all that space. And this one saves a lot on energy. <laughs> like Seriously, I this thing is like always at 100%. You're at 82, I think. It's kind of blurred out, but um, this thing never runs out because this is super power efficient. This is the uh, Alpi Cool fridge. I don't remember which one, but it's a small one. Then down here, I have basically my cans and my fresh fruit. I also keep my big bowl down here. This is what I eat in. We'll take that out. Um, basically, that's all vegetables, uh, beans and some sort of green vegetable, just a mix of those. And then I have uh, canned fish down here, tuna and um, sardines. I am like 90% vegan. I have been vegan for a very long time, but I started eating like one canned fish every other day or every day, um, just to make sure I have some more variety in my diet um, and it's really healthy for you. Fresh fruit here. So I usually, the fresh fruit I go to is oranges and bananas. Bananas, cause they're 
super, super, super convenient. <laughs> like you just, you don't have to clean anything. You just peel them open, eat it, super done, super quick and easy. I love bananas. Um, oranges are super annoying um, because you have to peel, they get super messy, especially the big ones. Like the cuties are pretty nice because you peel them pretty quickly, but it still gets stuff on your nails and stuff. God, I hate oranges, but I love eating them. <laughs> um, these big ones are annoying to peel. And it's a big, big mess, but they're super healthy for you. And, um, you know, I, maybe it's superstition, but I think that eating oranges every day is going to make you less sick. Not that I have really an issue with that, but, um, so that's that. So that's kind of my whole food supply. And basically I mix those, um, constant food supplies with my dailies that's what i have and we'll start cooking so let me put you back on the tripod here's our big bowl um i love big bowls because i always hate i hate stirring things in a small bowl and glass is super nice because it's easy to clean you can microwave it um for a while for a very long time i was using dozen hot pots which are like you plug them in they're kind of they're very low wattage like you can just do it off a power station very easily and you, you just make it in there and eat it from there really awesome dozen hot pots amazing but the non-stick versions which is which were the like the really nice ones that i found a liking to they i went through them in like three months because the non-stick would wear out so then i tried the stainless steel version and it was okay but it was really annoying to cook with and clean um, so eventually I just went back to the microwave. The microwave is actually one of the first things I installed in this car like two years ago. Um, and then I got rid of it for the hot pot and now I'm going back to the microwave. So um, obviously for the microwave you're going to need an inverter, which I have an inverter remote right down here to start it up. Um, but first we're going to get everything ready. So first things first is you're going to clean the bowl. So uh, I clean everything after I use it and before I use it. The way I clean is with vinegar and paper towels and this has been working absolutely brilliantly for me i've been doing this car living thing for two years now um about and i have very rarely gotten sick and this works perfectly well the reason i clean before and after is just to make sure you know it's not it's not as good i would think as like actually cleaning dishes so might as well make sure you're safe so anyways you just take one oh and how i make these little strips is i have my paper towel holder up here i take off one of these and then i'll fold it in half and then i will tear this into fives just like that okay and then i'll just keep those there and that's what i use uh, and i like these little squares because it makes you use a lot less so basically you can see this right yes you can okay um so we're just cleaning the inside of this. And again, this is like already clean, um, but we're just doing it for redundancy. And by the way, if you're interested in this cleaning method, like it, it's very water efficient. I don't have to use any water, right? That's the huge advantage and it's super mess free and it works. Um, <laughs> it works. I don't know if, I mean, you know, use it to your own risk. It's. Um, I mostly, like, I don't put anything that I wouldn't eat raw in here to cook. Um, like, I, I wouldn't put my tuna in here. I, that's probably just stupid superstition, but um, I don't know. I just feel safer with that. So if you're eating a bunch of meat, like, I don't know, maybe you'd want, like, something that would disinfect or something. I don't know. Um, I'm not really inspiring confidence for this cleaning method, but let me inspire you this confidence. I've been doing this for two years and like <laughs> never had an issue. Very rarely get sick, like like strangely. Like I've gotten sick way less in my car than I did when I was living at my mom's place, like in house, which is strange. All right, so I've got that cleaned up and then I'm just gonna quick on the lid here okay and then the bowl is clean and so boop right there and as you notice you know we're going through some paper towels but because you are tearing these into fives like the actual paper towel waste is is very minimal um and considering how much i'm saving on water and just everything else with my lifestyle you know it's it's actually pretty um, environmentally friendly, although I would think paper towels are 
worse than water waste, but we don't really use that much. Clean our knife there, and then we're gonna clean our spoon. Okay, so I will start with the tofu. So this is my main protein source. So this is 14 grams per serving, five servings. So that is uh, 70 grams of protein. So I eat half of these in my first meal. So that would be um, 35 grams of protein from just the tofu, which isn't too much. Um, whoop. But overall, I am getting an, a pretty good amount of protein. Um, I eat two meals a day, um, sort of intermittent fasting-like. Um, and overall, I'm getting about 70 plus probably 10 from everything else. 80 and then with the tuna that I usually eat that would bump it up to about a hundred um, I probably should eat more than that, but that's what I'm currently at. It's probably why I can't build muscle <laughs> I'm just a slim guy though, so we got our tofu in here, and I'm just gonna start Chopping this up just making it small um, And as you'll see I have a really high prioritization on health um, as opposed to like good cuisine, I am definitely not making exquisite meals. Um, and you definitely can, um, but I just, I much prefer speed and health. Like that, that's what I care about, not taking too long and being healthy. Um, the taste is like, like I, to me, very bland tasting things still taste good. Like to me, eating a tofu, I taste amazing. <laughs> I suppose that's just something I've learned. Um, but you'll see, I, I, I make things taste pretty good, but you know, probably wouldn't be good by everyone's standards. So I basically chop that up, that's my tofu layer. Then I will add some um, either rice or oatmeal or sometimes a mix of both. And this is technically breakfast, but this is uh, one of the two huge meals of the day, so this is not like your typical breakfast. So I'll usually do about two or three scoops. I think for today we'll just do, do like two and a little bit scoops. And that's brown rice. Love that stuff. A big staple in my life. Um, and then let's add some of the freeze-dried stuff or the canned stuff. Um, let me see, what do I want to do today? Let's just do freeze-dried. We'll save the cans for later. So I'm gonna start with just some peas. And then, you know, we'll do we'll do all three. So right now I have the peas, the celery, and oh, this one's heavy, the vegetable mix. So we'll just do a little bit of each. Oh, that's quite a lot. Okay, I feel like I should get a little bit more greens in there. Let me add some more peas and that will be good. Oh, sorry. Actually, I want to kind of add my cucumber to here. Sometimes I will just eat the cucumber while this is cooking. Sometimes I will um, put this into the cooking. So today we'll put it in here. Now you can wash this and slice it up and put it in there, or my personal favorite is you just eat it and spit it out in there, which sounds disgusting, but like it's all going in your mouth. It's, uh, <laughs> it's an easier way to, um, to get things in there. But for the sake of the camera, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> So we're cleaning um, any fruit that doesn't have a peel, you want to clean it, fruit or vegetable. Um, I just bite off the tip there since it's a little harder to clean. 
Um, and again, usually I would just bite this into here, but for the camera, we'll we'll do it nice and we'll we'll cut it into here. Okay. Um, and then, you know, maybe I'm a little bit wasteful, but I I use that bottom bit to hold, so I just throw away the end. Um, and like, yeah, I'm wasting a bit, but that's just what I do. Okay. And then let's go ahead and just clean this knife because I don't think... Oh, no, we are going to need it for orang. But, yeah, so we'll leave it out, but mostly clean. Okay, so this is what we have. And now all we got to do is add spice, salt, oil, and water. So I love me some olive oil. Big thing of Bertoli. I'm going to nuke it in olive oil. Then we are going to add salt. So I use iodized sea salt because <clears throat> um, in my diet I don't get too much iodine. Um, so I do half a, a little under half a t teaspoon, um, which in total for my day count would be just under the, rec the daily recommended value of sodium intake um, from whatever the uh, national recommendation is. So I don't need too much salt. Um, and then I have <clears throat> this no salt seasoning and I have like pepper and other stuff like that. Just add a little bit of flavor, something like that. Beautiful. And now we're gonna add water. Oh no, am I out of water? Fuck. Um. Oh no. That's all the water I have. Um, balls. I have an idea. Maybe I'm going to have to go back into the store. But usually these canned veggies have quite a bit of water in them. I don't know. This might not be enough. I had quite a bit of dry stuff. But I'll just add the water in here for now. <laughs> this is no salt added, so it's not like adding a bunch of salt. Um and I'll eat the veggies for my second meal, but let's see if that's enough. Actually, that's a decent amount. Maybe, probably not enough. Let's see. I think that'll work. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> yeah, usually I have um, a big gallon thing of water in the front that I fill up every day, um, but I went through it all yesterday, I guess. Um, forgot about that so it's a little bit low on water here usually I want that a little bit higher because the um, rice and the, the dehydrated stuff will absorb that water um, however cucumbers there are full of water and yeah that should be fine okay make and do <laughs> so my inverter remotes right here turn that on we hear the beep the microwave is on now we're gonna put the lid on here and I'm not gonna close it all the way. I'm gonna make sure it's like sealed 75% of the way and make sure a little bit of air escape is possible. We're gonna plop this in and this is a pretty low wattage microwave. Oh, I spilled some water here. Um, so I usually go for about six minutes, six and a half minutes, something like that. Um, but we're gonna let that run, um, which I usually do while this is cooking is meditate. So it's just a good time to like it, it's six minutes that I'm waiting for my food and it basically it's become one of my habits just hey take this time you know to just meditate it's a good time to do it um and it kind of just works out into your routine it's like no excuse every day it's what you do do that and I'll cut this out of the video but I'm gonna do that um sometimes I'll you know eat one of my fruits so usually after this I'm gonna eat an orange and a banana so I'll set these up but usually I'm gonna eat that afterwards so I'm gonna meditate and we'll be back on it Alrighty, so our timer has ended. Pop out this food here. Bowl gets quite hot. And voila. <laughs> that water might actually worked out perfectly. So, there we go. Um, basically, I'm going to go into the front. I'm going to pop this on my little uh, steering wheel tray. Eat, and then um, in the morning, actually... I won't actually clean the bowl, I'll clean like all the utensils. I'll just put the bowl back in the fridge, right? Cause then you don't have to clean it and then I'll use it again for lunch and then I'll clean it at the end of the day. Um, 
and that's basically it. I clean using, again, the little uh, square paper towels with my vinegar. I just first get everything visually clean, right, with the paper towels, just get everything out. Um, and then you do about, you know, 10, f five to 10 layer swipes uh, with the vinegar to make sure. And basically with the vinegar, you're it's a little bit disinfectant, but you're mostly just uh, kind of like soap. You're just scrubbing off the germs, right? You're not actually killing the germs. Um, so you do about five to 10 pass throughs uh, with the vinegar and then you're cleaned up. So that's kind of my food routine here with the cooking. I hope this was uh, <laughs> useful to some of you guys. Um, and let me know if you guys have any questions. So without further ado, peace out.